Hi, in this video we will talk about how to manipulate the strings and pick the left values or the right or the mid uh, values um, from these strings in R. Um, Excel has similar functionality as well. So let's let's try to do the same thing with R as well. I'll define a variable called X, which is just a string from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And if I wanted to pick the values, the left values from this, so starting, so substring is the function, and we're telling that from our string x, we want to start from the first character and then go to the third character. So let's see what it does for us and let's see what the results is now. So it has actually picked the, the first three characters as, as predicted. So that's our left function. And mid function is similar to left as well. All we need to do is define the starting position and the ending position. So instead of starting at the first, we would want to start somewhere from, let's say from the second, and then go up to the fourth position. So if I run this, it's picking the value from the second character and then going up to the, the fourth character. So it has picked B, C, D, B starting from two and then fourth going up to the fourth position, which is D. And lastly, let's talk about the, the right function as well. So we can achieve this, uh, the same thing. Um, in two steps. First of all, we need to look, know how big or how long is our um, string. So nchar command will do, do it for us. So we now know that x is a string of eight characters. And if we wanted to pick the value, um, the right values, for example, if I wanted to pick the last two characters, so I can do something like this. Um, so we stop at the last digit and then because this is the eighth digit so we are saying we start from the minus two which is uh, eight minus two is six so it's starting from the sixth digit and then going to two forward so if i do something like this you would notice that it's going to pick three characters because it's starting from the sixth seventh and eighth so because eight minus two is six, so it's actually com coming here to do that. But if your intention was to pick just the last two characters, so you can do something like this. And then in this case is actually starting from G and H and then picking the last two characters. So this is how you do that. Now, you would ask another question, how do I store this value in, in a data frame? We can do that. And for that, I would use a built-in data set called Check weights. So if I just have a look at that, so this has two columns, weight column and a feed column. So first of all, I'm going to create a temporary data frame called C. So I'm saying my check weights uh, data set is going to be copied to C. So I, I have C there, which has exactly the same uh, columns and uh, rows. So now I wanted to create another column in that called C abbreviated. And I would use the substring command and say that the feed column, use the first three characters of that, starting from the first character, go up to the third character. So that means it's going to create another variable called abbreviate, or another column called abbreviated. And that has only the first three characters in that. So you can see that just using the substring command, you can use the left, the mid, the right. And this is how you store the data in, in, in your uh, data frames. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you very much for watching it. And I'll see you in the next one.